So you're thinking about putting in a golf simulator. I was in the same situation about two years ago. I had a good friend was building this beautiful home and he took me into the basement and he was building a golf simulator room and he was putting in a home theater at the same time. He had a much bigger space than I have, but I thought, hey, I have an empty shell right here. I'll put the pictures in the video. You can see it. It was just a concrete shell and I started measuring it out. It's about 18 by 18 and I thought, hey, I can do the exact same thing. So once you start this path, what you're thinking is, I'm gonna do my homework. So I did my research. And so I decided I wanna have a very immersive golf experience where I live in Eastern Tennessee, golf membership is very inexpensive. And so I thought, hey, I'm gonna get the best. And so this little unit right here is the GC Quad from Foresight Sports, powers the whole thing. For a golf simulator room, I think this is the best choice because you wanna be able to play golf plus, Putting and short game is the best. I will put in the notes the budget I had, which was about $30,000 right there, and every component I had, because once you start researching, you start looking what's the best, what's not, do you want to get a full package? If you do it DIY, I think you can save a lot of money. You can do a simulator without the GC Quad, but I figured I'm gonna have this thing for 10 or 15, 20 years, I want the best. It's a bigger investment now, but I think it's the best choice for me. As you're putting this together, I think the number one decision that you got to make is how is it going to look? Uh, if you've gone to some of the top golf simulators, for example, in downtown Knoxville where I live, they've got the Embassy Suites, they've got a top golf studio. Number one, you want to have 16.9, okay? This screen is about 14.5 by about 8.5, but the key thing is the projector right up here, if you shoot up there for me, that's the BenQ. 4K laser projector. And I got to tell you, it is a massive difference maker. If you're going to spend 20, 30, some people spend 50, 60 thousand dollars on their simulator, why would you get cheap when it comes to the projector? Most of the packages, many of the companies put, they do a thousand dollar projector. <clears throat> this project, projector was over four thousand dollars. I think it was close to five thousand dollars, but it's a laser projector and it lasts. 20,000 hours. You never need to replace the bulb. Plus, it turns on very quick and turns off very quick. The quality of the image is amazing. Let's go over here and let's just look at what it looks like. The nice thing about Foresight Sports is I've uh, bought courses and they're very inexpensive. Some of the other simulator companies, you have to spend, I think it's E6, it's called $2,500 a year. Here, I think about 50, 60, 80 bucks a course or whatever it is. So I've got everything from Carnoustie to Doral, for example. What's great if you shoot it up there for me, Hunter, when you play on the GC Quad, you can say, okay, I wanna play in the morning. I want a little bit of rain. I want the, green, the ground firm. I'm gonna have it about uh, 78 degrees. We're gonna have a little bit of clouds. I wanna have an eight mile an hour degree wind out of the south of a teeny little bit of fog and the sea level there is very close to sea level. I'm gonna have the greens fast. You can actually do it on the stent meter and we're gonna have a little bit firmer bounce, a little bit firmer here. And then you go and you say, hey, how do I wanna play? Mulligans or no mulligans. I've never done a practice. Let's say a hard pin position. Um, with putting is very, very good. Do I want to have, go ahead and shoot me over here, Hunter. What if, do I want to do uh, automatic putting or do I want to have no gimmies, three foot gimmies, six foot gimmies? I usually do three foot gimmies. You can play whether you want it lie penalty or not. If you hit it in the rough or the trap, it makes it more difficult. And then up here, putting mode. We're just going to do, uh, you have to put it. And so you can also go how many players are playing and then what tees. I'm not going to play the tips. I'll play the gold tees. And then you click start. And also, in the golf simulator room, come back to me if you would, um, you want to be able to watch golf or you want to be able to watch the game. The best thing about having a golf simulator is I almost never sit down and watch a game. What I do is I come in here and behind the screen right there with this control, I've got a very good sound bar and a subwoofer. So the sound is fantastic because one of the things you find when you have a room like this, um, you are going to... Uh, Oh, that's the, I was looking at the shadow. That's the shadow from the tree. Because you can actually see the trees moving. You have a home simulator now. This is an impact screen that you can hit golf balls into, but with the 4K laser, you can see how good it is right here. We'll turn the lights down just a smidgen. And we've got uh, photography lights in here making it a little bit brighter. So uh, there's Doral right there, and you're just playing. And it is fantastic. If you do your research, you're going to need a mat. This is the mat that uh, Martin Hall advertises on the Golf Channel. I think you go Martin Hall mat, this is a fantastic mat. It's a little bit thicker. One of the things you gotta do, 
is when you put the um, GC quad in here, this mat is raised. It's got to be a little, it's got to be as high as this because every time you have to align this, this is a putting green material, and I'll give you the source for that. And this is also putting fringe. This was very easy to cut in. I saw pictures of a uh, guy who had a uh, old barn wood. So I went on Craigslist, and I found a guy who had this 100-year-old red, red oak barn wood, and I put the barn wood in. We planed it and cut it in. Got some golf memorabilia from Jordan. There's a, that's one of my favorites. Michael Jordan signed an autographed copy to me. Uh, Tiger Woods and Leroy Neiman, the Rory McIlroy, Arnie and Jack, of course. And so you kind of put up the golf memorabilia, but you need about 18 by 18 to play, I think, effective. My ceiling, if you shoot up here, Hunter, this is tongue and groove. My ceiling is only nine and a half. I'm six foot two. I've never touched the ceiling. I've had a couple people who have followed through and a driver who really cast who have touched it and it's not a big deal. You use the tongue and groove because it's very, very thin. It maximizes the height of the room. Mount up there. And then what I did is I simply had the cabling from the back, the HDMI cable, going through the ceiling back around here. And I'll give you the specs. This is from iBuyPower. It was about $1,700, this gaming computer. you got to have a phenomenally fast gaming computer with the graphics card to make the GC Quad work because it instantaneously follows the ball. You also, I have a uh, touchscreen monitor, which was about $400. So as you're playing golf, you can aim where you want to go, which is obviously crucial. So if you're looking to have a great term investment because you're thinking, Gosh, I'm going to have this for 10 or 20 years. Spend an extra $3,000, let's say, on your projector, for example. Over 10 years, that's 300 bucks a year. What is that, about uh, $28 a month over the course of the time? But if you're going to be in here hour after hour, and I've tracked my hours, I'm probably in here about three hours a week for two hours, sometimes more. We have friends over. It's a great place to drink beer and play golf and go play Pebble Beach, for example. But it's a great long-term investment. Having the GC Quad makes the short game better. The track man, you have to have it behind you, and the putting is terrible. Short game is very good right here. The right computer, the right here, but the heart of it is that image. And what makes it great is the ability to have the 4K experience with the laser and turn this into a home theater when you're watching a movie because all you do is you run Netflix or you run Amazon Prime or anything through the computer and it automatically hooks up and you can project any image, TV image or ever, whatever you want to do. But if you want to have a great experience, um, think long term. Make the right decisions. There's other simulators you can spend a lot of money. I happen to have a great year that year, a little more difficult with COVID this year. But I made a long-term investment in my golf and enjoyment. My sons play with me and friends come over and they're always blown away to see the quality of what it is. And it's very easy to change this. If I want to go up here and simply take away the rain, I go right there. Want to make it sunny, go right there, click apply, boom, ready to go. But it's a great time. If you have any questions, you can email me. I'll put stuff and in the information right there. But between the software they gave me to get the screen image right, um, the GC Quad, it's a phenomenal package. And for around 30, I did it myself. We had to sheetrock the walls. We had to put up the barn wood, but it was fun. Flooring's not that expensive. I'll give you an itemized detail list of what everything cost. Um, LED lights that are angled in the ceiling is important. But if you're looking for a golf simulator package, um, you can do it DIY and do it yourself and have a phenomenal experience. If you have any questions, just reach out to me. Thanks. Light so you can see things just a little bit. You're going to need to get an impact screen. This is a high quality impact screen you could obviously hit golf balls into. But one of the best things about this, it's such a high quality screen with that 4K laser, laser image. And the other thing is, Many of the golf courses now you're getting, for example, when you buy them from Foresight Sports for GC Quad, you're getting more and more stuff into 4K. You can take advantage of it if you have the projector. But these are uh, drapes you can see up here. They're just on a uh, little track right there. I think these are crucial. I got these from a company. It's um, gsagolf.com, all in for the impact screen for the three curtains. One goes on top, one goes on each side. And also what you're buying, is you're buying this frame for the impact screen. All you're getting is the corners. There's a corner there, one in the middle corners, and you go to Home Depot and you simply buy the pipes. These are pipes right here. That all in is $2,500.